All is quiet this morning at Philadelphia International Airport. Protesters spent part of their weekend there. They're angry over President Trump's new travel ban. I was reporter Trang Dell was live at PHL Force this morning. And uh, Trang, what can you tell us now? Well, for Helen, Jim definitely a quieter morning here at Philly International. Demonstrators were here on both Saturday and Sunday. And on Sunday, the protest grew so large that traffic was tied up here and on 95. Take a look at this video. Several thousand protesters gathered outside Terminal A at the Philadelphia International Airport on Sunday. The protest began Saturday amid reports that people were being detained at the airport under President Trump's executive order on immigration. Now, the order signed on Friday evening indefinitely suspends the Syrian refugee program. It also suspends all refugee admissions for 120 days and bans citizens from seven Muslim majority countries from entering the U.S. for 90 days. For one demonstrator we spoke to, the ban hit very close to home. I am feeling humiliated because I am Muslim, I am Syrian, and we're just like, we're not welcome here anymore. That's what I feel. And I don't feel safe anymore. I mean, we ran away from war because all we needed is some safety and a place to build a better future for our kids. And all the things we're, going, we're getting right now is like feeling like we're criminals. And in a statement last night, President Trump denied that this ban had anything to do with religion. He says visas will again be issued to those countries once policies are reviewed. In the meantime, all detainees at the airport were released Sunday. But for now, we're live from Philly International Airport. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jimmy Rahel, back to you. All right, Trang, thank you. The president continues to defend his decision. In a statement, he says America is a proud nation of immigrants, and we will continue to show compassion to those feelings feeling oppression, but we will do so while protecting our own citizens and border.